Welcome to this video on deploying tests in Blackboard. So if you watched the video before this, you've already created a test inside Blackboard, and now we need to deploy it to the students. Once we have that, I'm going to go over my test folder, uh, uh, content folder here on the left hand side, and we don't have a test in it just yet. So I'm still gonna have to go to assessment and then test. But I can see that my test one inside of here uh, is ready to deploy. So I don't need to create a new one, but I'm going to select test one that we just built in the last video and hit submit. Now before Blackboard deploys my test, it's going to ask me a bunch of questions. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna call it test one? Which I'm fine with that. Uh, we can give it a content link, content link description if we want to. Uh, we can have the test open in a new window, which uh, sometimes can be helpful. We also have test availability, which you would make the link available if you wanted the students to be able to take the test right then. Uh, if not, we can set a, uh, a calendar so that it can uh, be deployed whenever you'd like. Uh, the add a new announcement for this test uh, will add a new announcement to the very front of your Blackboard page telling everyone. And there's also an option here for multiple attempts. Now, a lot of times we suggest giving students multiple attempts to try this, maybe even just two. You know, because things can happen, like a student's uh, internet could fail, their um, hard drive could blow up just at that moment. You know, lots of things happen with technology. So we usually, we maybe not unlimited attempts, but I'm going to put the attempts to mine at two. They get two. Force completion, we, well, oftentimes we don't select that one just because uh, it also seems harsh because once you start, you have to complete it in one sitting. And then you can also set a timer if you only want to give students 60 minutes. We oftentimes say uh, that you should give um, time and a half more than you should uh, if you're just giving the test in class just for those uh, technology things. And then here's where we can display after and display until. So if you just click the little calendar, I can say, yeah, I wanted to start uh, Sunday night and I'm going to set it at midnight and I only want it to go until Monday uh, at uh, noon. So they get that 12 hour window that they can take that test before class. And then password, how, how uh, instructors will use the password function is, let's say uh, a couple students weren't able to take the test for legitimate reasons. Maybe they're out at a sporting event or something like that. And you wanna open that test up just for them though. Other people maybe didn't take the test, but they don't have legitimate reasons why they should be able to take it. You could reopen the test and then just put a password on it and say, give that password to those few students that legitimately need to take the test again. You can also set due dates, and what that does is when it's posted after the due date, it'll be marked as late. And there's some other options here too. And the last one here at the very bottom, test presentation. We suggest saying that uh, you do the test one at a time, one question at a time. And the reason that is, is because every time then they answer a question and move on, uh, they'll be selecting into Blackboard and it won't kick them out of the system because if they are in one page of Blackboard going through everything and it takes them longer than, let's say 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that, uh, Blackboard might uh, boot them out of the system thinking that they've left the computer or something. It's like a security concern. So we do one at a time and then you can also prohibit backtracking if you'd like to. Uh, there's also a way to randomize questions and that's good because uh, then it seems like every student has a different type of test. So once we get all of those set up just how we want them, we can hit submit. And now our test uh, is available. Well, this one's not available because I have mine set to go up on Sunday, uh, but it will be available to students for them to take. Now, if you'd like to see how to grade a test inside of Blackboard, we do have a video on grading assignments and tests uh, earlier in the series, so I'll link to that right now. One thing I did want to show you is how you would go and uh, regrade a test once it's already been completed. So I just uh, made this test available and had a, had a student user go in and uh, take the test. And so they've already taken the test, but then I, I see that one of the questions uh, I got wrong. So I'm going to go into the test and if I say edit test and I go into one of these and uh, let's say I want to change this multiple choice and I'll say edit. And let's say I accidentally got this wrong and oh really it's uh, earth, which isn't actually true, but uh, I'm going to change that and all I have to do, that's all I have to do, I have to just change which one and submit and update attempts. And it says this will require regrading one attempt for this question, continue, because one person has taken this test already and I'll say yes. 
And what that does is it regrades everyone, everyone's attempt. So this test had one attempt and it went through and it gave the student the uh, correct uh, score that he should have gotten and it will go through for all of the students. So that's an easy way uh, to change your test if you see a mistake after it's done. Thank you for watching this video on deploying tests in Blackboard.